Hello, I'm Mark Gross. I'm president of the South Dakota Corn Growers, and today we're combining corn out of Bridgewater, South Dakota. And this year we have a great crop in the Bridgewater area. A lot of that's due to, to our advances in biotechnology. This particular field is drought corn, and so many people, when they hear that, they think drought resistance, they think it's designed to raise the crop on the terrible land or sand ground and to break more sod to raise corn, but, but that's not what it's designed for. It's actually designed to water optimization to get the best yield more consistent on, the, on your good ground too. And so if you go through a dry spell or heat in the summer, it'll make it through that so you can still have a crop. And, and this year we haven't had an abundance of rain, but we're still able to get a great crop here. the advances we're making in our fertilizer applications. Everything is variable rated. This field is grid sampled. So we're able to put the right amount of fertilizer or just the right spot. And also we're able to come back, split application of fertilizer, some at planting, some fertilizer over the top so we can get yields like this with lesser amounts of fertilizer. On our farm we raise corn, soybeans, and also raise livestock. So it's great that we got a great a big crop like this because we're able to supply all our the demand in our area for whether it's feed or for the local ethanol plants and also for the, the loadout terminals in our area that ship the corn for exports.